the highlights of this matchup between the GGs and Axe be. women. And it, it was only a minute into this match, and it was Ottawa putting their stamp on how things were going to go this yep. afternoon. Right off the start of the sports game. Stadium. Samantha Ali with a nice run untouched into the end zone. Nice easy try for the GGs, and that got them off and rolling. Yeah. Emma Sandstrom with a convert. And uh, yeah, about the that. nine minute mark. The GGs add to their lead. We saw a few of these tries for Ottawa where they just yeah. built and built and then had to just punch it over. Yeah, this a little two meter dive over the over the goal line. Um, nice kicking on the converts too for Emma Sandstrom. Under tough conditions for sure. Uh, one of the highlights for Acadia in the first half was this chip and charge. Yeah. On the far sideline, but uh, eventually it was thwarted. And then scoring her first try of the match was Brianna Phillips on a nice individual effort on the far sideline. About five minutes later, Danielle Erdely punched one in from close uh, range. Yeah. yeah, and then Sandstrom with the convert. Just lots of the same stuff over and over again. Beautiful yeah. run there for Emma Sandstrom, the first of two. Yeah. Yeah, that was um, Danera Somerville on that eight-man pick. She had a few of those in the game. Yeah, sorry, make it uh, Danera Somerville with two consecutive uh, tries. It was Sandstrom with the converts in the early going. And another one yeah. for Ottawa. Again, all Ottawa in the first half as they ran out. Mm -hmm to a 41 to nil lead at the half. Yeah, it was um, not much competition at all in, in that half. And they started the second half on the front foot as well. Yeah. As Drea Bennett got the first try of the second half. And finally we had a really nice run here from them. Um, finally broke through at the 43 minute mark. Yeah, from the uh, Ann Kennedy uh, fly half had a really great strong run there to set up the next try mm -hmm. which is awarded to Nicole Paul that made it 46 to 5 at that point but only a few minutes later again the size and the strength of Ottawa too much for Acadia as Bianca Paymont got a try yeah. and then more pressure from Ottawa paying off as a turnover deep in Acadia territory and substitute yeah, Paulina Karwowski got on the board with a try. Fall on it there. And, and then rounding out the scoring late going, it was Tamara Butera also coming off the bench and scoring a try for the GG's couple of converts yeah, late for Emily Gray, Gray their player Gray. of the match. And that's how we ended up with a 65 to 5 Ottawa victory. Full marks today for the GGs. Yeah. So you can't get much better than that for the RSEQ champs who will look to continue this role as they will face Calgary tomorrow in the semifinals. We're going to step aside coming up at uh, about 3 o'clock Mountain Time. Number 4 seed Guelph versus number 5 seed Laval should be a very interesting match mm -hmm. as we continue with the 2017 U Sports Women's Rugby Championship here on usports.live.